Friends, not only is it Wellness Wednesday, but it is also Mental Health Awareness Month. So what better way to kick it off by discussing the one thing that affects all of us, many of us every single day, stress. While we know what that feels like, how do you know if your stress is something more serious like depression? This is something I have wondered about, and our friend and therapist, Naya B, is with us this morning to explain the difference between the two. Naya, it's always good to see you. It's good to see you, too. So first off, you say one of the most common reasons people come to therapy is to figure out how to better manage their stress. What is stress, and how would you define it? Stress is the brain's way of managing chaos. So. When you are experiencing a life situation such as chaos at work or with friends, family, or anything that the brain signals as a disruption of its peace, you begin to feel stress. So it creates a feeling of overwhelm, frustration, and nervousness, an intense form of frustration, overwhelm, and nervousness. As you just said that, I'm sure you saw my face and you saw <laughs> pretty much the light bulb go <laughs> off in my head because I feel like so many Americans are living not only with chaos at work, but as you mentioned, with friends and with family all at the same time. That can be really overwhelming. So mm -hmm. is there a difference between stress and depression? Yes, there's a huge difference. So stress is a precursor for depression. So when people are feeling depressed, that's more of a long-term circumstance. Stress can be very temporary and short-lived. So if you don't get ahead of the stress, it can ultimately lead to depression. So there are four stress hormones, but the one that leads most to mental health issues is cortisol. Mm -hmm. So when cortisol secretes through the body, it starts to slow down those cells that need to recreate and renew so that we can have energy. So that's why the symptoms look very similar. So you'll have a loss of appetite, weight gain, fluctuation, fluctuation decrease in sexual activity, just not really wanting to do anything. So it will look like depression, but it's not depression. Depression is more long-term and it's a lifestyle versus temporary circumstances. So how do we manage our stress to make sure it doesn't become a long-term lifestyle? I think it's important to know what your stressors are. Mm -hmm. So many times we put ourselves in situations that are stressful and we think, oh, we could just manage it, we can deal with it. But when you do that consistently, the body says, this is our lifestyle. And so you will begin to adjust to that and that's where depression will kick in. So you gotta be proactive instead of reactive when dealing with those stressors. Mm -hmm. So work out, eat well, do not put yourself in situations that you're uncomfortable in. You really have to be intentional about living a stress-free life. Let's say though that stress does lead to mental illness. In your opinion, what are the best ways to care for yourself? Well, now you have to live your lifestyle as if you are struggling with depression. Mm -hmm. So that means that you have to get up every day, work out, turn on some light, see your doctor regularly, do things that's gonna secrete the positive hormones, the mm -hmm. things that make you feel joy, the things that make you feel good, the things that connect you to people, and the things that make you feel like you have a sense of achievement or closeness. That has to be the lifestyle at that point. I have a feeling so many people at home are nodding along saying, yes, I know I am living a stressful life and I am so scared of, of this becoming my lifestyle. Thank you for walking us You're through all welcome. that. And of course, you can contact Naya B. As you can tell, she is so easy to talk to. So we are going to post this segment at kmov.com slash great day following the show. And Kent, you are always so good whenever we talk about stressors, about pointing out that sometimes those extra things you do could be masking what causes yeah, that stress. Yeah, yeah, and I, I, I believe that. And I'm interested, it's an interesting conversation. I wish we had more time, I, but I think that it's interesting that you say that the stress can lead to depression. So you can be stressed and depressed at the right time. Am I corrected with that, Nibi? Well, it depends. You can have a stressor that ultimately leads to depression, but if you add another stressor to that, so now you are adding yeah. more stressors. Yeah. So you can definitely simultaneously have some issues. All right, slow down, everybody. Slow down, <laughs> take a breath. All right, thank you, ladies.